what's happening everyone welcome to our youtube channel don't forget to check out our website infixitonline.com once you're there you can click on this tutorial request link fill out the form here give us all the information about the software title that you want to learn more about or the hardware task whether it's learning a new application installing a new hard drive or hooking up your home network diagnosing the virus whatever the problem is you can fill out this form and get back to us and we'll help you out as best we can or you can send us a message on YouTube and we'll get back to you also but going to our website is the fastest way to get a response from us alright so now that we took care of that let's get into this current tutorial or how to video okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take out the dual LED flash what you see there okay so what you're going to do is you're going to get your Phillips screwdriver. You're going to remove the two Phillips screws that you see there and there. Okay. It's your LED flash right there. Something that small. Okay. You're going to put that to the side. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to remove the kickstand. You see the kickstand from the inside of the back case and of course this is it from the outside okay you're gonna remove one two three the five Phillips screws that you see here on the inner case then you see your kickstand is out okay you put that on the side near the screws step once you remove the logic board you see this is what you have here see the front uh, case of the Evo and here at this point actually this is your front facing camera so when you want to remove your front facing camera you're gently gonna pull up here and you're basically gonna gently pull it right up the top you might have to wiggle it a little bit there's no screws or anything holding it there you have here that's your front facing camera okay on the Evo Okay, and to remove the display panel, right? What you could do if you have a heat gun, right? If you have a heating gun, uh, what you can do, you can set it on low, and you can just dry around the perimeter, just to get rid of the the adhesive that they put here to hold the uh, screen in the case together, right? But if you don't have a heating gun, what you could do is. You can take a small sponge or a screwdriver and drive it along the edges. Honestly, I really don't recommend this unless you are careful and you know what you're doing. Because uh, you could damage the screen, you could damage the plastic, but you can kind of drive out the adhesive by just rubbing along gently. It takes a lot longer than a heat gun, but not everybody has a heat gun, alright? So that's your alternative. Then once you get your sponge in there, just drive it around okay and once you work around the whole perimeter of the screen alright you don't want to remove the whole display just as yet because the cable is still attached back here so this is where you could detach the cable See, it has the glue on it. Just pry it up gently because the cable is sensitive. You just pry it right out. Pull it right off. And there's your display right there. Okay. free with no problem. You see the cables connected to it. Still have a little adhesive on it. Here you can run a heat gun along the edges and disconnect the display from the outer shell of the display. Okay? Oh, that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. We're not going to go through that here. Okay, so there you have it. That's your display. 
Should display removed. Put that on the side there. Then you have your rear case. The only other thing to remove is the rear speaker. We're going to go through that process right now. Right now to remove the speaker, once you have disconnected everything, of course, you see the rear case in here. You're going to take out the outer rubber shell, rubber shell. Right? Then you're going to put your plunger in the back from the top. You see there the speaker just pops out. Okay. So that's it for another tutorial from infixitonline.com. Don't forget to check out the website, subscribe, and give us your input about later tutorials you would like to hear about, see, and uh, also things you could feel we could make the site better. Alright? So, thanks.